might work for United Own Bikes and it might work for Flight Centre. You know, and, and Flight Centre are renowned for their disciplines around the sales process. Like it's almost if, if somebody's been trained in Flight Centre, grab a hold of them because you know they're going to be yeah. they're going to have yeah. discipline instilled in them. Um, but the times are changing. And I think that that's you know those that that rate of change is is beginning to accelerate. Um, you and I, I mean, you started off by saying it. We're, we're no longer interested in standing in the car yard and being approached by, you know, grinning George, mm, mm. you know, who's rubbing egg off his beard and all that <laughs> kind of thing, right? Um, but yeah, you know, I, we, we find ourselves in an age where we, we as buyers just won't tolerate that kind of behaviour anymore. And, you know, and even if I use the 99 bikes example, I mean, uh, the mountain bike that I bought, I don't know, three years ago, um, I absolutely did the vast majority of the heavy lifting of deciding online. I didn't need to speak to a human being and, and as a consequence, didn't suffer being pressured by anybody to go in one direction or another. Um, you know, and I think that's just, it, it's gathering more and more and more momentum. Um the US, as with most things, is course of course way ahead of Australia in this. And even big B two B organisations are now seeing a lot of their purchases being made directly by the buyer online with zero contact. There's there's an oh, increasing yeah. number of those that are, uh, you know, and and so there's a Amazon have got a B two B platform that a lot of people down here are unaware of. Um, and a lot of that's to do with parts, so not yet services. You know, so it's it's uh, products, um, much like you know Amazon for uh, domestic use is. Um, but organisations like Ford Motor Corporation are buying billions of dollars worth of parts for their cars on the Amazon B two B site. And they're no longer so, negotiating with sellers. Yeah, so this is huge because B two B, as you know, relationship development, long life, long sales cycles can be a couple of years, uh, and a lot of it is is not what what you're describing. Is there therefore a collapse in the B two B skills and the B two B money for high high um, performing B two B salespeople? Is that collapsing? Um, I don't know if we're right at the point of collapse yet, but it's 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 certainly evolving. It's changing. And, you know, what I've seen certainly over the last three years, and this was obviously brought on by the pandemic, um, was the shift in sales around A, more selling, you know, via video conference, but B, far more, there's the, the growth of a, a relatively new title role, which is the SDR. So that's the sales development representative mm-hmm. whose job essentially is lead generation, right? And so... Mm-hmm. We're seeing less business development managers being hired into organizations and many, many more SDRs being hired instead. Um, and so their job is to do the outreach and to stimulate your thinking um, and and not to sell anything to you at that point in time, mm. right? But it's just to get you thinking about us as a provider of a service that you may have some use for or a product you may have some use for at some point in time. Now, at the moment, the SDR tends to hand off to a BDR or a BDM or an AE. I'm, we're getting swamped with bloody acronyms now. Um, you know, and that's that's the way you kind of codify yourself as a profession, right? You come up with as many acronyms as you possibly can that nobody understands. Yeah. Yeah. Um, but yeah, so there, you know, the 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 SDR does tend to hand off to another person who takes the sale a little further forward. Um, but increasingly we're seeing that. The role of the BDM, the the on the ground salesperson, becoming less and less relevant. Yeah, so I mean that that is an evolution, but to those who are involved in it, it can feel like a collapse because uh, you know even when I worked in Tesla, I was in that sort of BDM role. So there were people doing top of funnel on the floor, and then they'd send them to us, and there might be one or two of us in a store. Yep. But now, and then while I was there, Elon started selling cars through the the inter- click buy it rocks up to your door you've never even been to a showroom and much like um you know those bdm roles started to disappear from tesla stores in australia so I, i'm just by definition of what you described if i had a startup or a company i would be putting more resources into filling the top of the funnel with sdrs and 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 now with you know chat gbt and this kind of stuff i've been focusing on automating that away so let's go back to my first question when i said what is sales what is sales now, considering 
the this evolution or or collapse or whatever as as we've been talking about what will sales become now 